Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ. In this video, I will bring to you the current affairs of today, that is 26th of November. Today is the Constitution Day. It is the Constitution that has acted as a glue to unite all the Indians together and to lay down a framework for a developed India. So let's celebrate today, which is the Constitution Day. On that note, let's start the video. The 8th International Tourism Mart was held in which city recently? When we talk about tourism, you have to remember that the headquarter of the World Tourism Organization is in Madrid. Madrid is the capital of Spain and Spain's Rafael Nadal and Marc Marquez. They are very important player. Marc Marquez is a motorbike champion and Rafael Nadal of course is a tennis champion. He won the French Open and US Open last year. So WTO is headquartered in Madrid, World Tourism Organization, 27th of September is the tourism day 27th of september and tourism mart recently took place in imphal it took place in imphal also remember if i talk about tourism then sri lanka and myanmar these are the two countries that have decided to give visa on arrival to indians so if you want to now visit myanmar or sri lanka you can just go and then you can have visa after reaching there that is called visa on arrival and India has decided to give visa on arrival to South Korea and very recently to UAE. So in the last one year, India has given visa on arrival to South Korea and now very recently to UAE. Which state government has decided to constitute State Folk Art Council? State Folk Art Council in a bid to promote the culture and folk art of the state. It has been recently decided by the government of Chhattisgarh. Chhattisgarh's capital is Raipur. Chhattisgarh High Court is located in Bilaspur. Anusuya Uke is the governor and chief minister is Bhupesh Baghel of the Indian National Congress. Lot of states are there where there is a Congress government. Like for example in, uh, in Pondicherry, there is a Congress government. V. Narayana Swami is the chief minister. Rajasthan Ashok Gehlot, Madhya Pradesh Kamal Nath and Chhattisgarh also. So chief minister there is Bhupesh Baghel. Chhattisgarh also has Kangar Valley National Park. Kangar Valley. Wild Asian Buffalo is the state animal of Chhattisgarh. Wild Asian Buffalo. Apart from Kangar Valley, it also has Guru Ghasidas National Park and Indravati National Park. Who is the author of the book R. N. Kao? Gentle Spy Master. R. N. Kao. The book has been forwarded by the National Security Advisor of India, Ajit Doval. You must also know who is the National Security Advisor of America. They also ask it. Robert O'Brien. Robert O'Brien is the National Security Advisor to Prime Minister, uh, Prime Minister Trump. So this book is written by Nitin Gokhale. Nitin Gokhale. It's a book about raw research and analysis wing. Which city is hosting the three-day Commonwealth Youth Parliament? Three-day Commonwealth Youth Parliament is hosted by New Delhi. New Delhi. Can you tell me who is the Chief Justice of the Delhi High Court? Who is the Chief Justice of the Delhi High Court? Write down the answer in comments. Living Root Bridges, which were in news recently, is situated in which state? Living Root Bridges are studied by the international communities now and they are in Meghalaya. Very, very uh, important living root bridges are located in Meghalaya. Basically, these are the roots of the Indian rubber tree and they have kind of intertwined and intermingled in each other and these are very strong. People use them as normal bridges and they don't break down. So, these bridges are especially popular uh, in Khasi and Jayantia Hills and now the researchers from Germany, they are coming to India to do research on living root bridges. Now, Meghalaya governor is Tathagat Roy Tathagat Roy is the governor of Meghalaya and of course Conrad Sangma is the chief minister of Meghalaya. There is Khasi, Garo, Jayantia Hills which are located in Meghalaya and there is a Nokrek and Balfakram National Park. Nokrek and Balfakram National Park is also in Meghalaya. Recently Meghalaya was in news because the new uh, Meghalaya High Court Chief Justice is Muhammad Rafiq. Muhammad Rafiq. National Games in 2022 will take place in Meghalaya. Remember the mascot and mascot will be Clouded Leopard. For those who don't know, Clouded Leopard is the state animal of Meghalaya. Don't confuse Clouded Leopard with Snow Leopard. Snow Leopard is the 
स्टेट एनिमल ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड यू विल फाइंड इट इन द ग्रेट हिमालयन नेशनल पार्क ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश ट्वेंटी सेकेंड नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन ई गवर्नेंस रिसेंटली टुक प्लेस इन शिलोंग ट्वेंटी सेकेंड नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन ई गवर्नेंस एंड हैंड इन हैंड दिस इज अ मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइज दैट विल टेक प्लेस बिटवीन इंडिया एंड चाइना इट विल टेक प्लेस इन मेघालय इन दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइनटीन एंड डॉन कूपर रॉय द फॉर्मर चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ मेघालय रिसेंटली पास अवे he was not just the chief minister he was a former speaker of the meghalaya legislative assembly as well so don cooper rai passed away recently the chief former chief minister of madhya pradesh too kailash joshi and babulal gaur they also passed away they both were the former chief ministers of madhya pradesh and two chief ministers former of delhi passed away shila dikshit and sushma swaraj they both were the chief ministers of delhi baugan vile which was in news recently it is an autonomous region of which country remember the residents of bougainville they have voted to declare bougainville as a new country so we will have a new country called bougainville it is right now under the uh, under the occupation of papua new guinea papua new guinea remember the main city in bougainville is called buka buka and one more thing they can ask here Bougainville was earlier known as North Solomon Island North Solomon Who among the following businessman has announced that he will be running for the American presidential elections Who is he So Michael Bloomberg will run for the president of America Michael Bloomberg in America there are two parties one is the Democratic party and one is the Republican party Donald Trump is from Republican party right So Donald Trump will be challenged by the Democrats and a lot of uh, democrat uh, presidents have been there like barack obama was a democrat barack obama hillary clinton uh, you know uh, bill clinton of course hillary clinton bill clinton both they were all were democrat george bush was a republican so can you tell me which of the two parties okay the the symbol of the party is a donkey the symbol of the party is donkey for which party democrat or republican let's see who answers this question and why america has been in news recently uh, well there was an american scientist called fernando corbato have you heard this name before fernando corbato was the inventor of the computer password he recently passed away fernando corbato and america celebrates its independence day on 4th of july 4th of july now recently the american city of delaware and new jersey they have signed the sister state agreement with gujarat so gujarat has signed the sister state agreement with new jersey but also with delaware robert o'brien is the national security advisor who, and uh, you know, and uh, what else yeah mike pence he is the vice president of america this also can be asked not many people know it about mike pence and yeah there is a uh, place called catalina channel in america catalina channel it was crossed by an indian recently his name is mr satyendr lohia Mr Satyendra Lohia he is not just the first indian but also the first asian to cross the catalina channel so remember that which rhino has gone extinct in malaysia which rhino it was the only uh, one rhino that was remaining and what was the name of this rhino it was called iman so the only rhino remaining iman recently died because of a cancer so it is the sumatran rhino sumatran rhino has now become extinct in india we have the one horned rhino and rohit for rhino campaign was started to protect rhinos in india in the kaziranga and manas national park kaziranga has 90% of the population of the indian rhinos and it is the state animal of assam as in so far as malaysia is concerned we do a military exercise with malaysia called harimo shakti we have stopped buying palm oil from malaysia because they bag pakistan with regard to kashmir in fact pakistan turkey and malaysia all the three countries together are launching a english channel to counter islamophobia malaysia's capital is kuala lumpur which is the headquarter of world badminton federation bwf malaysian prime minister is mahathir mohammad which state observes sangai festival every year it's easy sangai is basically the state animal it looks like a deer in fact it is a very big deer in fact it is the largest of all the deers in india so it is manipur Manipur Biran Singh is the chief minister Najma Abdullah is the governor since 2016 so it's been a lot long time since Najma Abdullah is the governor of Manipur capital of Manipur is Imphal remember 50% of all the violence 
that takes place in the northeast India takes place in Manipur and there is of course a Shirui lily festival also that is celebrated with uh, celebrated with a lot of joy in Manipur and this Shirui lily plant you will find in Sirohi National Park only. Sirohi National Park is there in Manipur, Loktak Lake is there which is the largest lake of the northeast and uh, there is one more national park called Kibul Lam Jao. Kibul Lam Jao. Uh, I think that's that's enough about Manipur. They started a campaign also called School Fagadaba. That is go back to school. Fagadaba campaign was started but that was I think in May or April maybe. Which empire has written the book called Finding the Gaps? They, this book is written by Empire Simon Toffel. It's a very very renowned empire. Simon Toffel, not active right now, but he was a great, um, you know, um, empire. And remember one more empire, Claire Polosek. She is the first female empire to officiate in the men's matches. And G.S. Lakshmi is the first female referee to officiate in the men's matches. Who has won the men's single title at the Scottish Open 2019? Men's single title, badminton, won by Lakshya Sen. The rising Indian sensation, Lakshya Sen, there is Parupalli Kashyap, there is Sai Praneet, there is, um, you know, um, there is Parupalli Kashyap, Sai Praneet, Lakshya Sen, uh, one more I am missing, I think, uh, Kashyap, Parupalli Kashyap, right, Sai Praneet, done, yeah, Kedambi Shrikant, yeah, of course, Kedambi Shrikant, uh, these are some important um, badminton players you should know, and they are coached by the great Pulela Gopichan. Which state government has launched an immunization campaign against filaria? So filaria causes filariasis. Filariasis. It's a huge problem in Uttar Pradesh. So UP government has launched campaign against filariasis. They also launched a campaign against Japanese encephalitis, which is called Dastak campaign. D-A-S-T-A-K, Dastak. Dastak basically means knock on the door. That is called Dastak. And this they launched in association with UNICEF. In association with UNICEF. Also remember, the government of India recently started Indra Dhanush. Indra Dhanush means rainbow. Indra Dhanush version 2 to vaccinate uh, all the pregnant women and all the children under the age of 2. The International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women is held every year on which date? This is one of the most important questions that is asked in the exam. So, this time the theme is Orange the World. Orange the World. Generation Equality Stands Against Rape. Generation Equality Stands Against Rape. Orange the World. This is the theme and this is very important. So 25th of November is the day. Remember for the next 15 days, that is till December the 10th, because December 10th is the International Human Rights Day. So those 15 days, Orange the World campaign will be run. So 25th of November. The Itawa Lion Safari, which has been opened for the public, is located in which state? Itawa Lion Safari uh, has been started recently in Uttar Pradesh. Itawa is in Uttar Pradesh. Now remember there is a place called Nahargad. In the Nahargad Biological Park, which is in Rajasthan, last year in 2018, Lion Safari was started. So in Nahargad also, don't confuse Nahargad with Kumbalgad. Kumbalgad Wildlife Sanctuary is now declared as a tiger reserve by the government of Rajasthan. So... Uh, in uh, and Ut Uttar Pradesh has three tiger reserves. Uh, we are talking about lions. Lion is present only in the Gir National Park in Gujarat. But insofar as tiger is concerned, Uttar Pradesh has three tiger reserves. One is Dudwa, second is the Pilibhit, and third is Aman Gad. Name the winner of the 2019 Davis Cup tennis title. Davis Cup is played between the countries, and Rafael Nadal led uh, Spain to a Davis Cup, uh, Davis Cup trophy. So the answer is Spain. Spain. What is the rank of India in the Nomura's Food Vulnerability Index? Nomura is a Japanese credit rating agency. Okay, you know about the new Emperor Naruhito. The throne is called Chrysanthemum Throne. Chrysanthemum is the name of the throne and the Prime Minister is Shinjo Abe. Recently, he has broken the record of Taro Katsura to become the longest serving Prime Minister in the history of Japan. There is a place in Japan called Shuri Castle. It was a World Heritage Site. Unfortunately, it caught fire and it got burnt in flames. 
also V22 military exercise with Japan, Shinyu Maitri, which recently took place in West Bengal, and another one which is called Dharma Guardian. Of course, there is a Malabar exercise also. There is a Sahayok Kaijin exercise also that our Coast Guards do. Capital is Tokyo, currency is yen, and Tokyo will host that Olympic Games, Summer Olympic 2020. Then uh, there were cyclones also that came in Japan, like Krosa, like Hagibis. These are the two notable ones. And uh, uh, the Japanese uh, space agency is called JAXA, Japanese Aeronautical Exploration Agency. Recently, there is a mission called Hayabusa 2. Hayabusa 2 is nothing, it is the rover which went all the way to Ryugu asteroid. Now it is coming back to the Earth. And the world's biggest space transport ship called Kaunotori 8 was also launched by JAXA. Kaunotori, K-O-U-N-O-T-O-R-I, it is the world's biggest space transport ship was also started by uh, by Japan. Oh, insofar as this question is concerned, the answer is 44. Sometimes I try to give so much that I forget the question on the screen. So remember, the higher is the rank, the worse is the state. Okay, so India is quite worse insofar as food vulnerability is concerned. Who has been conferred with the Leslie Ho Asian Film Talent Award at the Singapore International Film Festival? Leslie Ho Asian Film Talent Award was given to Nawazuddin Siddiqui. Nawazuddin Siddiqui. Now remember, recently there were three film festivals in India. Guwahati, Kolkata and Goa. Goa was the International Film Festival of India. Despite the Fog was the first movie that was shown. And French actress Isabelle Huppert, she won the Lifetime Achievement Award. And Icon Award was given to Rajni Kant. Kolkata Film Festival, Germany was the focus country. Goa Film Festival, Russia was the focus country. And Guwahati Film Festival, Iran was the focus country. The National Cadet Corps observed its which raising day on 24th of November 2019. National Cadet Corps motto is unity and discipline. Unity and discipline, it was the 71st raising day. 71st raising day on 24th of November 2019. According to OECD, what will be India's GDP growth rate? According to OECD, it, we will grow at only 6.2%. Only 6.2%. Now remember, according to, uh, according to what? According to Nomura, we will grow at 4.9%. Only 4.9%. Reserve Bank of India, 6.1%. IMF, 6.1%. World Bank, 6%. As per the data provided by the Ministry of Tourism on foreign tourist arrival, which state saw the most visits by foreign tourists in 2018? So which state sees maximum foreign tourists in India? It is Tamil Nadu. For the last so many years, Tamil Nadu has been number one. 60 lakh tourists from foreign country, they visited Tamil Nadu in just one year. And second is Maharashtra. And third, of course, is Uttar Pradesh. Third is Uttar Pradesh. Which state has decided to declare Guru Ghasidas National Park in Korea district as a tiger reserve? So Guru Ghasidas National Park is there in Chhattisgarh and it is an extension of the Sanjay Dhubri Tiger Reserve of Madhya Pradesh. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching Study IQ Premium and I will see you in the 27th November video and I will also upload the best 200 part 2 earlier because on 30th of November you have the IBPSPO exam. I will also upload Agriculture Current Affair part 2 and I will also upload Banking Awareness part 2 not part i will upload in one go entire november month banking awareness so keep enjoying study iq premium the joy of learning new every day thank you so much